Namaste, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of N5D Behind the Scenes. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and today I'm going to be walking you through my house, and we're going to be checking out various electrical items to see what kind of EMF readings we can get. But before I do that, I want to show you guys something. I just got this, and uh, it's called Infuse. And I'm sure a few of you people probably already have it. Maybe a lot of you already have it. Maybe I'm the last person to buy it. But uh, as you can see from the picture, you can put like fruit in there and infuse your water with organic fruit. It looks pretty cool. So I bought that and I ordered some shungite and I thought, okay, I'm going to make some shungite water. So let's give that a shot right now. So I've got, of course, you know, <laughs> you know me. You know, I've got the, the 10 alkaline water that we're gonna put in there. So, let's pour that in. If you haven't tried this Alkalife water, try it. <laughs> You'll be hooked. I went to Publix, I was so excited. Um, Publix had a special buy one get one free on the six packs so I bought two cases <laughs> that's how much I love this stuff and no once again I am not getting paid by Alkalife I'm not a sponsor I get no kickbacks on this it's that good that I need to share it with you guys so what I have okay gotta get the other piece out of the drain okay so what we have is this okay so bear with me I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put the shungite of course I've already washed the shungite and everything that that's you see in front of you so so what I'm gonna do is put the shungite inside here got five pieces that fit nicely in there see And then we put this top on, like that. <laughs> this is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> okay, so that's on like that. And then we stick it, as you can see, there's, there's a mesh that goes through there. So the water can go through and infuse whatever we have. In this case, we're using shungite, and I'm just sticking it in there, and I think it twists around somehow. I don't know. <laughs> there it goes. It's locked in. And uh, right now, I've got some shungite-infused water. What I should do, let's put some ozone in there first. Right, so let's take this baby out. Okay. Now... <laughs> Later on, you will see that I will test the ozone machine and it's not pretty. And all you have to do when you're actually making ozone is you really only need to put it in for like a minute or so. So this is what I got right here. And it's gonna be going off and up. There it goes. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit further away from the ozone machine. This is how you make ozone water. And then what you do, if you want to take it one step further, is make ice out of the ozone alkaline water. And you'll have the world's best ice ever. So I did test the EMFs and it's safe right here. But when you go right up to the machine, like right here, not good this area and I'll be showing you the readings of what I got in a little while but first we're just making our alkaline ozone water and then we're gonna infuse it with shungite we'll see how that is so but you can basically get the idea I can put more ozone in it later but let's put it back in the shungite back in and uh, see what we have okay so we got the alkaline water, we got ozone going in it, and now 
we have ozone alkaline shungite water. How cool is that? <laughs> this is funny too. I've got a bottle of grain alcohol. I wouldn't drink this crap, but I had some issues with the contacts in my generation three night vision goggles. So I contacted the guy that sold them to me and asked him, what do I do? Can I send them to you to get fixed? He goes, no, don't worry about that. There's a special kind of contact cleaner that you can buy. It's made by WD-40 and it might cost like 15 bucks or something like that. And you can buy that at Walmart or whatever. But he said, you can also use grain alcohol. So I went to the liquor store and this is the smallest bottle they had. <laughs> so this is a lifetime supply. But what I did find is like many of you out there, we uh, tape up our cameras on our laptops. So my camera was all taped up and I noticed that on the last video I was trying to do, there was like this hazy fog from where the tape was actually over the camera lens. So I took some <laughs> grain alcohol, put it on a cotton swab and, or a paper towel and it just came right off like that. So it does have practical uses, but I wouldn't drink it. So yeah, that's, that's what we have right now. This is our ozone alkaline shungite water. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator, let it get a little bit colder and I'll report back on it. So I'm going to switch over to the laptop right now and uh, let's start a little testing and see what's going on. And this is going to be for my, um, Patreon people for the behind the scenes. So all of you that are on YouTube, I've already reported on this. Um, the results you've already seen um, when I did my last Facebook Live. So you're not missing anything, but you know my Patreon people are actually going to walk through my house with me and uh, see everything. So to all my YouTube people, thank you for checking in. Hope you learned a little something about the alkaline ozone shungite water. And like I said, this is what I bought the infuse and even bought some uh, shungite pyramids that I bought eight of these because I have eight rooms. I'm going to put one in each room to help protect from EMFs. So to my YouTube people, thank you for joining me. I'm going to sign off from you guys and for my Patreon people, follow me. Come on. <laughs>